Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making an Australian sign and um, I'll be making this sign for Ellie O'Hearn. Um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your last name right, but it's from, she's from the USA. Um, so if you're watching this Ellie, please switch off now if you want this video to be a surprise. Alright, so what you'll need for this sign is some cardboard or some paper. You'll also need some white paper. You will need a glue stick, some scissors, a pen, and some string if you want to decorate at the end. You will also need some washi tape, and I've actually chosen some nice um, earthy kind of colours just because I am making Australian sign. I didn't want to use any like pinks or purples. I've got some nice earthy base colours here. Lastly, you'll need a picture, some writing paper, and also some white paper to do a few little doodles on and titles as well. So the first thing I did was I got some white plain paper. I folded it in half this way, then I folded it in half this way, and then I folded this side into the center, this side into the center. I opened it back up. I cut a slit between these two points here, straight into the center. And then I folded it up. So all you have to do is pinch this side and then fold it over. So then as it was folded, I actually wrote, if you can see, it says page one, page two, page three, page four, page five, page six, page seven, and page eight. Now, the reason I did this was because I wanted a template. Because when you open it back up, it looks like that and you can see that page one is over here but then page eight is right next to it so I wanted a template that I can look at it and go okay this is where each um, frame is when I make my actual sign now I'm actually making my sign on this folder here you can see that it's got this open here and it's actually a folder so the first thing I'm gonna go is just cut along this line here because I wanted my sign to be a nice sturdy um, cardboard paper and I'm going to have my template just above me here so I can see it at all times. So now I'm just going to fold it so I get my border lines. Okay, so for page 1 and page 8, I just want it to be a very simple little um, doodle. So I've got this little guy and I thought he was so cute. I actually found him off the front of Google, so I think it was just page 1. Um, and I thought he was so adorable because he's got his little pot belly, where he's probably been drinking too much beer. He's got his little Australian flag um, and he was super easy to draw. So to draw this little guy, it didn't take a lot of effort. Um, it was super simple and then on the back I wanted to add this little pie because I love my pies and I feel like pies are sort of like an Aussie icon. Um, so I'm going to glue those ones down. So now we have our front page and our back page. Okay, now let's flip it over and we'll do page two and three. So first I just want to start off by putting down this little New South Wales sign. It is slightly out of the border, but because when it gets folded in, it will be on both pages anyway. Um, and then I've got these little titles that say Lennox Head and then Home Town. So just written out a few little fun facts about Lennox Head. Lennox Head is my hometown and New South Wales is a state in Australia. This is Lennox Head here and all the way down here is Sydney. So that's how far I've moved since um, my hometown to where I'm living now. So I've also got a few little fun facts about Lennox Head. So Lennox Head has been my hometown for 15 years. I moved to Lennox Head when I was about three. I was actually born on the Gold Coast. Um, and I moved out when I was 17. My favourite place in Lennox Head is Lake Ainsworth. If you ever come to Lennox, I do advise you to go down to Lake Ainsworth and have a beautiful picnic down there. It is a beautiful place. Um, it's situated between Byron Bay and Ballina, so we're just south of Byron. 
Um, it is a seaside village, so we are a small little town beside the beach. And the main icons around the area is the Macadamian Castle on, it's a bit um, north west from us, and also the Big Prawn, which is located in Ballina. So now I'm just going to decorate it with a bit of washi. So I've just got some silver washi that I want to put down the side here. So the next pages are going to be page four and five. So the first thing I'm going to stick down is um, the Australian National Anthem. The Australian Anthem is actually a two part. So it's this and then it's got another part um, as well. But we didn't get told um, the second part in primary school. Um, we only got taught this part. So um, no one really knows it. So the only time you really hear them sing the second part of the Australian Anthem is usually on Anzac Day. Um, and other than that, most people just know the first part. So fun fact about our Australian Anthem. Um, I've also got a few more little doodles. This one is actually just a cartoon. So it's actually the Tim Tam Slam. Now, as a kid, um, we used to do this when we got Tim Tams, and Tim Tams are actually an iconic food in Australia here. So I've drawn these little guys, and I found this again off Google. I didn't make this thing up myself, um, but I thought it was so cute. So basically, you grab your Tim Tam, you take a bite out of both corners in opposite directions, and then you dunk it, and you sip from the corner that you took a bite out of, and then slam, and all the goodness comes up through the Tim Tam like a straw, and it's like this melted goodness. It's really, really yummy. So I thought that was super cute, and it's just kind of a little cartoon showing something iconic and something specific to our country. Now I'm going to flip it around again, and we're going to be doing pages um, 6 and 7. Alright, now, so for page six, I've just got some Aussie slang here. I'm also just going to put, again, a bit of that um, grey... Oh no, it's nearly just about run out. Silver washi, I should say, not grey. Um, I'll just put it on the corner there. It still looks alright. Um, and I've actually just drawn this little VB can. Very small and it's very Aussie, so I thought I would add that to the Aussie slang. Um little image here. So for the Aussie slang I'll just kind of do a close up for this one. Now I've got um, only words that I have ever used in my vocabulary. I didn't want to add some of those odd ones because some of them are just very bogan and I don't say a lot of them. So Arvo, this afternoon, good on ya, good on you, it's just a kind of just like meshes into one word, good on ya. Um, rack off. I didn't say this a lot, but my sister said this a lot to me when I was younger. So rack off is just get lost. Um, Barbie, we're having a barbecue. Come over for a Barbie. Bottle O. Um, a some of our shops are um, actually called Bottle O's. Some of our alcoholic shops, they're actually um, in the title, it's Bottle O, but basically a bottle shop or a liquor store. Bludger. I usually use this when I say dull bludger. Usually if you're a bludger, you're a lazy person. If you're a dull bludger, you're getting money off the government and a lazy person. Um, Maccas, I thought this one was quite obvious. McDonald's. Um, and Tracky Dax. I often say this um, when I'm putting on my um, just tracksuit pants. So putting on my Tracky Dax to go to bed. So they're all the Aussie slang. And I didn't want to put um, an explanation next to them just because I thought it'd be fun to whoever receives it has to try to figure that out. So on this page, I'm actually going to put a picture of the beach near my house. So I thought that was just a nice way to finish it before you get to the end page. And all of... Oh, I smudged it! Oops! So as you can see, I've just cut a line from point A to point B here at these corner points. And now we've got to pinch these corners, fold it out, and then fold it around and see if this works. Oh, I just screwed it up. Let me try that again. So I'll give you a little tour of the book now. So as you can see, I've added some washi tape around the edges just to make them more crisp. Um, so on the front here is my little um, kangaroo guy with a good day and a little Aussie flag. Um, now the first page is Lennox Head, my hometown, a little map, and then all these little um, facts about Lennox Head. 
The next page is the Australian Anthem and the Tim Tam Slam. And next we have the Aussie slang with our little VB can down here and then a beautiful little picture of the beach and I also just had to add this little washi tape in at the bottom here just because um, the writing smudged. So I don't recommend writing on the Polaroids unless you have a pen that does, doesn't smudge on them. And then on the back here I've got my little pie that says bye. So that is my little design for today. Um, I hoped you enjoyed watching me make this. I think it's a perfect little gift to add into your little pen pal letter just because it's so small and compact and it is paper so it will still be sent as a letter if you do want to send letters rather than little packages because once you put little bits and pieces in there that don't feel like paper anymore they can uh, mark that as a package. So I thought this was really good and slim and it's paper and they're just incredibly easy and cheap to make. So if you guys make any designs Send me through a picture, I'd love to see them. Tag me on Instagram. Um, don't forget to follow this channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.